on the track for the fourth race. Just four minutes to post time. One is out. Two is Mafioso owned by the Hatfield Stables, but Hatfield up. Three is TK's Kelsey owned by Terry Milhone with Bob Harper. Four is Clark's Goal owned by Westgate Motors with Bob Chapman. Five is Cyclonic owned by Mar Purdy. Mar Purdy the driver. Six, Kohler Prakas owned by Thomas Stubbs with Ty Van Roden. Seven is Elon Dadna owned by Robert Smith. Dave Hawk in the bike. The eight is Dinah's Legacy, owned by Alfred Scherler, with Jeff Fout. Nine, Laddie's Doll, owned by Mabel Fisher, with Larry Fisher. And the ten is Southbrook Boston, owned by Arnie Elif, with Jack Franklin. Post time in just over three minutes. And there they go. And they're off. Off stride before the start was the eight Dinah's Legacy. And now going off stride, the six Kohler Prakis. TK's Kelsey showing good early speed as expected. Just in behind Mafioso with Cyclonic parked on the outside third. Clark's goal comes away in fourth, about four and a half off the leader. And then we have Alon Edna to the outside of Southbrook Bosto. Next in line is Laddie's Doll. Then ten lengths back to Kohler Prakas and about a sixteenth of a mile back to Dinah's Legacy as they trot the head stretch for the first time with your leader, TK's Kelsey, on the point to the quarter in 30 seconds flat. But here comes Mafioso and Hatfield on the outside. And they look to take over the lead as they approach the wire for the first time. Cyclonic is third. Outside Laddie's Doll is moving up from fourth. Followed by Clark's goal, locked and shuffled fifth. Southbrook Bosto follows cover in sixth. A smart move by Alondad, who swings to the outside as the second quarter gets back down. Then it's too farther back to Kohler Prakas and far back to Dinah's Legacy as they round the turn on their way to halftime. It's Mafioso up top, 101 and 2. Off the turn and down the back stretch. Mafioso by two and a half lengths. Laddie's doll looks to be struggling a bit on the outside second. And here comes Southbrook Bosto, looping up three wide into contention. Then we have TK's Kelsey with nowhere to go. Yolanda Edna is up on the outside. Cyclonic is about six off the lead, racing in sixth position. Then it's the pair of Kohler Prakas and Clark's goal. Distant trailer now is Dinah's Legacy at the three quarters. And Southbrook Bosto is taking off on them now. Leaves Mafioso behind. They're followed by TK's Kelsey, Yolanda Edna, and Laddie's Doll in one. 30 and 4, 29 and 2. On that quarter as they move to head stretch, it's all Jack Franklin and Southbrook Bosto on top by five lengths. Mafioso is chasing second, TK's Kelsey and Alanda Edna trotting through the stretch. It's Southbrook Bosto with a comfortable five length lead. Mafioso late trot, TK's Kelsey, but Southbrook Bosto is well clear coming to the line and defeats Mafioso and TK's Kelsey. Back in the winner's circle was the 10, Southbrook Bosto, third win of the season, 202 and 4 in the slop. A five year old Bostonian gelding and a professional lover by Florida Pro, owned by Arnie Elf, trained by Sonny Levesque, driven by Jack Franklin. 10 2 exact, a 